Hello everyone, welcome to Werven's World and welcome to my let's play of Blockhood. Uh, so it's time to go more vertical, I think. So we have a little bit of buildings here, but I guess we would like to kind of go more vertical anyway. Um, and there is a green way of doing it, but then you kind of have to go diagonally because you can't just use elevators in order to do that. The problem is I didn't really anticipate this stuff at all, so I kind of built everything full of stuff already. Um, that said, we could, for example, get rid of these things here and slowly build up, for example, until here and then see what we can do. For example, I can get rid of uh, these things. Uh, this is the ones that give water, right? Yeah. Um, and this, was it fertilizer that this thing gives? Fertilizer, yes. How much fertilizer are we getting? Plenty. So if I get rid of this, it's probably going to be fine. So uh, then we can do something like this and then put some dirt under it and then put one of these on top of it again so people could actually then walk towards uh, this little football game and then get a bike and come back so we could turn this i guess into water or wetland or something like that uh, maybe there's something else that's cool mm. or we could just have a bristle cone pine these all use groundwater. There's also one that uses salt water, uh, the mangrove, somewhere here. I'm not sure how I get salt water though, because I don't think I have any yet. Also, one thing I noticed here: these things make pollution, which is ah, oh, we have bees, bees. Pollution, but there doesn't seem to be a single thing that reduces pollution at the moment. Apparently there used to be a tree that reduced pollution, but they now change it with wetlands and it doesn't take pollution at all. So you can't get rid of pollution except apparently through some random event that might or might not pop up. So it seems to be an oversight of the developers right there. Um, oh, we're running out of electricity. So I guess we do want some windmills. Um, where are they? Here. Um, but for that we kind of want to have a park, I would say. Now the question is, how do I make this nice? I wonder what counts as adjacent with this thing. Only that. So I would have to go up and then do something there. But there's already people doing something here. So maybe I could put this thing here. And check how well that's doing. Not so well. So maybe one of these things we could get rid of. As well as uh, this thing here. Which is a geothermal reactor. Which takes money and then makes greenhouse gas and electricity. So we definitely want to have that one back. But let's see. Now this is blue again. That's perfect. So what was this geothermal reactor? Uh, where was it? Okay, I'll have to go through this. I guess we could also just click on electricity, ethanol, solar tree, oil, incinerator, gas, here, here we go. So we could put that here. So then at least we get some electricity again. I like this geothermal reactor because we can just get rid of uh, greenhouse gas with plants again. So that's that should be fine. This is a waste sorting center that we could put somewhere because apparently it doesn't really support this thing here. Otherwise this should have been blue. That's a little bit of a shame, I think. It would be nice if, if some of these buildings actually just supported stuff, I guess, like houses do as well. Um, but that might also just be part of the challenge, of course. So if we now go a bit more up, so we get rid of this support here. And maybe also this anaerobic digester. Let's make everything a bit more naturey for the bear right there. Here we go. And now we could potentially. Now that would be there. 
so what if we put one of these why is that all white what if we put one of those structural supports that we found last time this one here oh. and then we might be able to just put some nice grass here but it doesn't look like it will be very stable for very long unfortunately let's get rid of this view that at least, at least looks okay except for that thing I wonder if actually just dirt also gives support oops <laughs> that destroyed some stuff uh, you go here and how does that influence your stability hmm not, not perfectly um, but yeah, so if we then put wind, we could have a windmill farm here or something like that. Um, although we have to figure out how to make this all stable. And I wonder if I would make like a big pillar here. Do they keep each other stable in some way or not? There we go. But now we could put in some... Well, we could also just have these because they take some money. But money we should be making plenty, I think. Yes, we make a, f a really big amount of it. So then we could just maybe put some geothermal reactors here, which we can't. Huh. Why not? Do we first need to have something like this? I don't think so. Oh, it's just red. Doesn't mean I can't build it, maybe. Um, geothermal reactor, here you are. It does mean that I can't build it. Nope, this doesn't work. Maybe because of the stability? Yeah, that's not very stable at all. Hmm. Problems, problems. Why are you not supported? Well, you can't stand on trees, apparently, which I guess is fair enough. And it was going so nicely. I was like, oh, we could just build around here and have some cool structures next to it. So this would mean I would have to get rid of this bear park and put a pillar here. But this this is already kind of a pillar, isn't it? This thing here, except it isn't because it's standing on a tree, I guess. Yeah, so I think, unfortunately, the bear will have to move for now. Because then we could put some more supports. We could put... Let's take this here. What about here? What does that do to our stability of the next level? Makes it better. But not necessarily the next one. doesn't look too bad I'd say except we should get rid of this one as well yes let's go for that because then I think I should be able to put this on here and then I wonder if we now could put that generator anywhere but no why don't you go there Why don't you go there? Give me some feedback. You can't go there. You can't go there. You can't go on top of a house. You can't go here for some reason. Can you only go on the bottom level? Is that is that the... 
Is that the thing? Ah, because it's geothermal. Runs off the heat within the earth core. So that might be the reason, I guess. Although it doesn't say, which is a little bit sad. Would like to have some more information there. Um, okay, but how is our electricity now? It's still fine because I guess we got rid of too many things. Uh, these organic waste things, these algae. Uh, no, gray water. Where's the gray water? Here's the gray water. So we need to have some of those and some other stuff as well. The problem is how are we going to keep everything stable? What would we want to put here? I could put in one support maybe. One of these things. There we go. And then maybe just some trees or water. This one's nice. Although it takes a lot of groundwater. I'm not sure how we are with groundwater. We are making plenty. There we go. Some nice trees through your algae farms. Nice. So then if we do like this and uh, then uh, like this. How is everything uh, reachable? It, this isn't. Ah, and that makes sense as well. So we could just get rid of this thing here. And then I guess we need to put something on it, like flowers. And maybe also here then. And here. Nice. It's not very stable though. Yeah, the stability is really <laughs> a problem. I guess it would be better to start a new map in that sense and 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 think about it from the beginning on how it's going to work but uh, let us put something here that will reduce our gray water and i think there are some natural things that take gray water except i think they are in blue so they don't show up um this one here the mangrove but it also takes a salt water which we don't really know how to create yet um knowledge sorted waste gray water tourists how will we make a salt water hot water Bees! We can have bees, more bees. Greenhouse, organic waste, wine, greenhouse, organic waste. No, it's hold water. Would it be a building that gives us that? Don't tell me there's no way of making salt water. Unless, of course, I missed it, which is possible. Ah, oh, here. Just a pond makes salt water. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, interesting. Don't we have a pond already? I guess not. Mm -hmm. Well, so if we turn these flowers into salt water. There we go, just some floating water. Because that makes sense. But then we have salt water, because then we can have a mangrove, which uses some of that salt water and turns it into water, but also removes some of the gray water that we wanted to get rid of. So that would be good. The question is, where will we have enough stability to actually do that? So I guess what we could do is remove some of these and turn them into actual supports and then we could have like a, a pool of 
or like not a pool, but a couple of mangrove trees here. Now we just need to connect them. I can't put it on there for some reason. We just put an elevator there. And now everything should be reachable. Yes, perfect. So why can we not put a mangrove on there? What is wrong there? Nothing. Okay, cool. But the salt water, are we using too much of it now? Because this takes one and a half salt water and this makes one. So we only make three and we use much more. So actually maybe we should get rid of this and then put something else that takes gray water which might not be anything except for the mangrove tree greenhouse gas no okay well then let's leave it like that for now beautiful Yes, I see we already played for 16 minutes. I think I'll put this episode to a close here and I'm actually also thinking of putting this series to a close for now. I do think the game is fun and I would like to return to it. The problem is I really dislike this. There's like no way to sort this and it gets really confusing to have so many things and have to dig through them all the time. There's also some stuff missing like you cannot get rid of pollution at the moment and in general I think the the feedback could be nicer like why can't you build something somewhere and stuff like that so i hope that they kind of patch up the game a little bit and then i can return to it and start with the gained knowledge of how to kind of start building one of these societies and then we can build higher and more so yeah i'll put this series to a close for now but i'll definitely return to it if they decide to patch it at some point and yeah i hope you had fun and see you next time